Hello everyone. Today I will guide you how can we install and run RapidMQ on Windows. Here I will guide you the through the process like step by step process that how we are going to install RapidMQ in Windows and run in our local so that we can access the functionalities of RapidMQ. Before going to the installation process, let's understand what is RapidMQ. So RapidMQ, it's a open source message broker software that helps applications communicate and exchange data. It uses the advanced message queuing protocol. What protocol? In a short, it says AMQP, advanced message queuing protocol to manage the routing, queuing and delivery of the messages. So this is kind of brief like that RabbitMQ we are using for communicating from the any distributed system like from one microservice we can pull push data to the same data to this RabbitMQ and another microservice we pull data from this RabbitMQ uh, service. Okay, so in this way basically this communication is happening. So this is a kind of broker system that is that is working. So we are going to installing the detail of it, like how we are going to install this RabbitMQ and run it into our local. So RabbitMQ, before installing the RabbitMQ, there is one dependencies that is called the Erlang. So this software we need to install before installing that RabbitMQ. So how we are going to installing this Erlang? So this is the official side of this Yarlang. Over here you can go to this download section and you can see these are the options. Okay. So if you want to install this download installer, if you click this, it will download the software 64 bit software default. But if you want to download 32 bit installer, then from the drop down, you can choose the option and accordingly it will download 32 bit software. So we need the 64 bit. So we click this one and download it into our local machines. So now, okay, now we are going to means uh, download this RabbitMQ from this side. So over here, you can see that install windows, there is the options and here go to the below. This is the direct downloads over here. So this is the options that RabbitMQ server 3.13.7.exe. If we click this, it will download into our local machine. So once this is download, then we are going to install this software into our local machines. So as you can see that those software already have downloaded into my local system. Now we are going to install this one. So before going to the install or download the install this one RabbitMQ server, we need to install this Erlang. So let's click this OTP underscore Win64 27 version of it is. So once we click the double click this one, it will ask you to choose this option. So I can choose all these options over here, then click on the next it will ask you to the for destination folder. So you can keep it as is or if is there any specific reason to change it, you can also change it, but better to keep the default path over here. Next, if these are the options, next click on the install. So it will basically install all the softwares and you can see these are the like, uh, okay, before that uh, once the Erlang installation started, it will also install this Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019. This distributable x64, this is the version of it. We need to choose this, tick this agreement over here and then click on the install. Once this Microsoft Visual C++ 2015, it will be installed. Then we can close this one. The setup successful, we need to close this pop-up and then actually Erlang, Erlang will install process is started. It will take some time to install it into our local machines. Once it will install into our local, we can see that Erlang is installed properly or not from the command prompt. So let it install into this local machine. It will take some time over here. So keep some time over here and in the time it will install. As you can see over here, it's about to complete the installation process. Once it will installation is done, it will say setup is completed. Let's wait for some more times. So you can see 
we can see the message that installation complete setup was completed successfully now we can close this pop-up from the menu section we can see that Erlang coming over here if we click this so you can see one command line over here so now if we try to like do some kind of the arithmetic operations just place the dot over here we can see the output over here means Erlang got installed successfully over here now we are going to pause follow the next step like clicking on the install the RabbitMQ server so here you can see clicked on the next then it will again ask you for the destination folder keep it as is because this is the default fol folder but if you have some specific reason you can do you can change or modify also but better to keep the default folder over here next click on the install it will take some time to install you can see the details by clicking on the show details button over there because it will extract some zip file and internally some some process to install it you can get all the details over here it's about to complete installing this RabbitMQ service and once it will service you can see that uh, setup completed successfully now click on the next button and you can see there is one option start RabbitMQ service means if we click this one and click finish so internally it will also start the RabbitMQ service for us so now uh, let's uh, I have already clicked on the finish because internally it is starting this service so service also got started so we can see from where like uh, you can see that now this RabbitMQ options are coming over here by clicking on this RabbitMQ service will start by this if you want to stop the service we can clicking this but we need to command from for this RabbitMQ command prompt so let's create this one and if we want to check the services that RabbitMQ so we can click on the services and over here let me show you we can't like choose this this one is RabbitMQ and its status is running right so from here also we can see now actually we can access the management interface by visiting the HTTP colon slash localhost 15672 but before that we need to enable one man actually management tool or plugin that we need to used over here that is called the like there is a one tool basically that we need to plugin we need to installed over here the command is like this RabbitMQ plugin this so first of all we need to see that what are the plugins basically available so for that the command is RabbitMQ plugin RabbitMQ plugins bat and list so it will give us all the plugin list which are basically available for RabbitMQ so we need to install some of the plugin so as you can see over here these are already like enable but if it is not enable we can like here like click on the enable enable and then we just need to click on this RabbitMQ management so if you run this command over here like this then it will basically RabbitMQ and underscore management so if we run this command so it will internally install this plugin into for us so so that means it are the installed over here now if we run on the browser so see that so here what was the like local host then 15672 this is the like path that you can see the username and password for this it's a guest guest so both are like same username and password default password that RabbitMQ provided here you can see this is an available node we can see over here we can create multiple node over here and also do the cluster but how we are going to create the cluster join the multiple node into a one so that I will show you in my next tutorial and here I am going to cover only that how we are going to install this RabbitMQ into our system and how we are going to run so in overview section you can see all the details over here in the connections currently we don't have any connection so that's why is the connection is zero we don't have any channels these are the exchange the default exchange these are the created by the RabbitMQ we can also create our own exchange over here in the queues we don't have any queue currently but we can create our own queue also 
from the admin section you can see we can create the new user like username password and the roles we can define over here like these are the roles that admin if we want to monitor this then monitoring the role policy maker then the management and if we don't want to mention any role then none so this from this way we can give create the users here you can see some other options also like virtual host feature flags deprecated features policies limit and clusters also so these are the like different types of things we can do from the user interface of this rabbitmq so this is the like overall things the about that uh, installing this how we are going to install this rabbitmq you can see the rabbitmq version is 3.13.7 and the year long version is 27.0.1 so this is all about this rabbitmq installation in windows in next i will cover how we are going to create the node multiple nodes and create the clusters into it okay so this is all about this tutorial if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section please press the bell icon for further notification see you in my next videos bye bye